So good afternoon. Good uh, afternoon. In this class, we also want to do some revisions on the topic. Uh, since that we have done with all the classworks, the main things we are going to remain with is only the revisions. So we are revising the next paper for the June July 2016. Uh, June July 2016. So if you have the old paper, you can go through. Well, I've uh, we'll also attached the some of the part of the questions. But for other parts, other topics, you can look at that question. So in the first, we are told, it's always we are being told to answer two questions from Geotechnology 2, uh, where the structure again, we answer two, then we do one in concrete. So let me tell you how we can, the first question is how they set it. So the first question, we are told to define the following terms. Then the first term was fault. We talk about the fault saying, they are defined cracks, say, these are defined cracks. They are defined cracks along which rocks defined cracks along which rock masses have relatively dispersed rock masses have relatively dispersed away from each other then the second term was uh, we are told to define the faults faults and the simple term of faults is the bending of the bending of rocks so see this is the bending of rocks masses then the second uh, question we are told to explain the following physical weathering process on rocks then the first one is the first uh, process of physical weathering we were told to give the temperature so when I told to explain this as a method of physical uh, weathering, you say that daily and uh, seasonal changes affect certain minerals and so the first one was temperature. And say daily and seasonal changes in atmosphere. affects the behavior of minerals which results into increase or decrease in their particles into their particles hence making them to disperse away to disperse away the second one we are told about the frost action to say this is a weathering process which is caused by the freeze thou actions. Say frost action. Frost action. And say this is a weathering process process that is caused. by freeze thou action freeze thou action the next class the next uh, thing we are given we we'll talk about the decay decay biogenic product decay bio 
Genic, DK Biogenic, uh, Product. I say this is the geological breakdown of structures of structures. Then the next question we are told about about that we are supposed to define the the, the effects of. Uh, Geological effects on faults. So we have it causes downthrown and upthrown as one of the effects. It causes the downthrown and upthrust. Then the next question we are told to define the term quarrying. I'm saying quarrying is the act of extracting minerals from the quarry site. Quarrying. See, this is the process. of extracting minerals from the quarry site from the quarry site again we're told to, to state outline factors to consider when selecting a dam site and the following are the factors that we have to consider when we are constructing the dam site. One, we have availability of the skilled labor. Then we have the topography of the area. We have the cost of the constructions. Then we have time available for the construction. Then we have availability of materials for construction. From that place, we, from that uh, question, we mark the end of this our first revision on the topic. In the next class, we'll be doing more and more questions. You also, you can also forward for me some of the questions that you have got, gotten to be tougher so that we can revise together. Thank you.